Dr. Reed, uh, before we uh, bid you farewell for today, uh, I know it's important for you to reinforce to the community that the district uh, still has its eye on uh, the safety and security of everyone in the district, children and staff alike, and uh, there are some concerns uh, about the gray area or the unknowns associated with grants that, that have been applied for uh, that the district uh, might hope to tap in the coming year. Well, this is my 14th day uh, of the opportunity I've been given to return uh, in an interim basis to the new town school system. Uh, so I, I don't want to give anybody the impression that um, uh, I'm thoroughly up to speed on, on each and everything that's been going on in the district. I will say this, uh, there has been a, a, a group meeting uh, involving a variety of members of the community uh, and the school system focused on the topic of security. Uh, the police department has certainly been a major part of that. Uh, and uh, a number of recommendations have been developed and they have been translated into grants that have been applied for. I think in response to questions I've gotten from parents about when is this going to occur or not, uh, I just am trying to be uh, as candid as I can be and say, we are right now uh, totally invested in grants for the ability to pursue the very vast majority of those recommendations. The grants that have been submitted, which also impact the police department and things they have asked for from an equipment point of view, is well over $2 million. Uh, I think when I looked at it, it was uh, in the area of uh, $2,300,000. We're going to have to wait and see what is approved in those grants. And the other thing with security is the details that you get are sometimes very general because you really don't tell people what you're doing or what you feel you need to do uh, because that really lessens uh, security. But I can assure you with, with uh, the time I will be here, it's certainly something that I will be looking at and working with people very aggressively. Uh, one other thing which is somewhat related to this, uh, I have people, friends, relatives who have said to me from other states, well, John, a lot of uh, fundraising has occurred in Newtown. Uh, there's been documentation about the millions of dollars that have come in through the generosity of others. Uh, and I th just think it's important to dispel any notion that uh, the school system has been the direct recipient of any significant amount of money. Those funds, those funds that have gone into other established mm. uh, venues uh, run by boards of directors. Or the, t or the town, for that matter, uh, designated to uh, school capital. Right. But as far as anything the Board of Ed controls, it's about $28,000. So uh, I, I think that's important to, again, put that in perspective. And I, I think the last point I'd like to share, John, is when you look at the major drivers of the budget, uh, I think first of all you have to look at a budget in my mind over time and it's, it's I think fair to say that if you look at the last four years the new town school system has had an average budget increase for the last four years of uh, slightly less than nine tenths of one percent. Uh, I, I think that's a very important frame of reference because if somebody just picks up the paper and says ha ha Region 15 or Southbury, uh, which of course is Region 15, or mm -hmm. Brookfield, their budget is up uh, less uh, of a percent than Newtown's is. If you look at what their budget is this year and what it was the last four years, I, I think you'll find our budgets are very similar or in fact our average increase over what's now going to be five years will be less even with the increase that's asked for for this year. Newtown is a very cost-effective district, uh, and I think does a good job of maximizing uh, the, the bang for the buck, and, uh, and I think that's not something new. I think that's a part of the culture in Newtown, it's something I understood for the 20 years that uh, I had the privilege of being superintendent of schools. So when you look at these cost drivers, uh, we're right now in dealing with uh, the security guards that were added, the, the, the uh, mandated salary increases, the restoration of funds for buildings and grounds and technology, uh, special ed out of district placements, which are not related to the tragedies uh, that, that happened in December, um, employee benefits uh, and textbooks. 
Uh, those drivers of the budget, which to me are basically, with the exception of the security, uh, their status quo. That's what we're just trying to do to maintain who's working with children now. They already exceed the amount of money that has been reduced by the budget. So if people are looking to understand why the budget is up, it's up because of, of those drivers. So that if we continue this trend of reductions, uh, we're going to begin to go into core things that we're providing to students. And uh, I'm worried about the road ahead. Uh, we've embarked upon a pattern here in Newtown uh, of uh, multiple budget referendums. Uh, it begins to create an environment where people feel freer to question the need for uh, public schools. That has an impact, uh, not the need for public schools, but what we're going to spend. And my appeal to the community is we're not asking for uh, significant dollars to throw at, uh, at, at, at the activities of the school system, we're asking for a, a very reasonable level of expenditure and we're there, uh, we need the support because if this trend continues, uh, I think it is going to impact the ability of the school system to provide the kind of education that uh, people have come to expect. So your vote does count. I'm personally asking you to, on June 4th, between the hours of 6 in the morning and 8 o'clock at night. Come out, please show that support. Uh, I know I will be very, very grateful and, and committed to work exceptionally hard and hopefully effective on behalf of you and your family. Interim Superintendent of Schools, Dr. John Reed, uh, with John Boquette here at the Newtown Bee. Uh, Dr. Reed, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, John.